Hi everyone, today I have a new workout for you. There's three rounds of seven exercises. Um, one of the exercises is the single leg hip thrust and you do um, one interval on one side and obviously the, the next interval is the other side. For those people who haven't done that, that level of the exercise yet, so it's quite an advanced variation of it, then just do the bilateral version and then bring in a different exercise for the sort of the remaining interval that you're sort of left with or else just cut out that interval. So um, you can maybe do dynamic squats or uh, burpees, always room for burpees, um, something else just to sort of fill that gap. But um, I'm trying to keep the introduction really brief because I've been told off for talking too much. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get warmed up here, make a start and I'll see you very, very, very briefly at the end.
workout. It wasn't a very high intense workout or high intensity workout. Um, a bit like the last one, there's a few technical um, exercises in there, clean and press. When you reach the end of your military pressing um, capabilities, then you can revert to the push press or else, you know, if you have a lower weight, then grab it and then continue the interval just with military press and with a lighter weight. For the single leg hip thrust or the hip thrust variation that you're doing, um, I was doing a constant tension hip thrust. That means basically that your ass isn't hitting the ground each time, you're just hovering above it and then going back into the upward phase. So you're lowering down to just above the floor, never actually touching it and then raising back up again. Do that for the whole interval and your ass will be on fire. So um, that's why I was making all sorts of faces doing that exercise um, because I haven't actually done that um, in quite a while. So um, all in all, great workout, I'm glad I did it. Full workout breakdown is over on my blog, myomitv.com. Um, leave your comments below and I'll be back soon with more.